there, welcome to our house. This week I'm in London to meet a national treasure and icon of British comedy. For over five decades, he's been lighting up our screens, big and small, with his special brand of tomfoolery, his spontaneous stumbles, and his famous catchphrase, uh. Mr. Grimsdale! It's war! Yes, Sir Norman Wisdom is our special guest this week. He's going to be giving me a guided tour around some of his childhood haunts in this, the Paddington area, and an exclusive guided tour of his lovely home as well. Above all else, though, we're going to have a laugh, that's for sure. Mr. Grimsdale! <laughs> <laughs> I've arranged to meet Sir Norman in this local cafe for a cup of frothy coffee. Sir Norman, hello there. Hi. How are you? Oh, fine, thank you. Good nice to see, to see you, you, Sally. Thank Great you. to see you. I'm sorry I'm a bit late. Oh, don't worry. No, I. Well, I had a bit of a kip. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> Already, listen. You've got to stay awake for today. Now I must order a wee coffee. No, don't. Yeah, you know, have half of this. Come on. Have some of your coffee. Yeah, um, go on. Don't want to get germs. Hang no. on. Mm. Right. How much sugar yeah. have you got in there? So Paddington is your old neck of the woods. Number 91 Fernhead Road, Paddington. That's where I lived at that time when my parents split up. And I was there with my dear brother. The last time you were here, you didn't have a bean to name. You were very, very poor. And, um, yes. and here you are today. Yeah, here Rich I am. famous. As a lucky little devil. Yes, with a knighthood. Who would have thought it? Oh, yeah, of course. Don't forget that, Sir Norman. And, and, and you yeah, know, it mustn't swank, of course, but over here as well, you know. <laughs> but now we're going to take a trip down memory lane. You can show me some of your old haunts. And why don't you take me to the house where you grew up? Is that your, was that your lounge there? Would that have been your house, part of your house? It wasn't my lounge. I was part of it. I was allowed in it. That, that, that was the lounge of the flat where the Wisdoms lived. And I was one of them. And how does that make you feel standing here looking into that lounge now? Does it feel strange? It feels... it feels... a bit sad, really. <laughs> no, don't start crying, whatever you do, I couldn't bear it. <laughs> well, should we go and have a knock on the door and see if anybody's there? All right. Flat eight. No, no, don't, for goodness sake, Norman. Just wait two seconds, I'm sure something... I'm going to ring all the bells, because we don't know which one it is. Home. I can see a pram, Norman, that's about it. Why don't we go down there? There's a lady in there. This is going to be an interesting meeting place. Have you spoken to this lady before? No, we've never met the lady before. Let's just see what happens when we come. Hello. Hello, me. Yes, you do have me. How do you do? Hello. Sir Norman Hello. Wisdom. Unbelievable, isn't it, eh? I remember being a kid here running around and wish I still was. <laughs> but you are, in your own yeah, sweet way. That used to be a double there and there was a single bed along here. That's where I kept. My parents were in that and I was there. And the you other. were in the same room as your parents? Yeah. But what yeah. about your brother, Fred? Where was he? My brother, he was in the bed with me. That's right. Wow. Uh, Not much space. Such is life, and life is such, and, and after all, it isn't much. First a cradle, then a hearse. It might have been better, but it could have been worse. There's the bathroom. I didn't have many of those. <laughs> Did you have a bathroom? No. Did you have a bathroom? No, no, there was no, there wasn't a bathroom then. What was there? There was part of the kitchen. Thank you Bye. very much. It's been very nice meeting you and lovely seeing the old place again. Yeah, <laughs> now you can tell all your friends that Norman Wisdom came to say hello. I will, definitely. <laughs> Great visitor to have, isn't right. he? <laughs> bye. Bye, bye. I've got to try and protect <coughs> my comedy stumble. Uh, you have to give me a lesson. Wrong way to do it, a right way to mess it up. Oh, nobody does it like me. If there's a wrong way to do it, a right way to screw it up. Oh, nobody does it like me.
Here we are, Queen's Park, Norman. Yeah, I know, Queen's Park. Oh, marvellous memory of Queen's Park when I was a kid. Oh, We're going to yeah. go this way, Norman. <laughs> Bit of kicking the football around. Yeah, it's lovely. Cricket. He's 86, he's full of fun, and there'll be more from Minxie Norman later on. So this is Harrow Road? Yeah, yeah, this is Harrow Road. Yeah. I told you, my, my parents were split up. Mother had left home. Yeah. My father was a chauffeur. He used to be away for weeks, sometimes months on end. to come up into this road here to and, Harrow and, and, and pinch. Would stuff. you pinch stuff off the foot market? I'll show you how I do it. You stand over here. You're going to show me how to do it. Look, oh. I watch Norman. Oh, OK, I'll be an unsuspecting customer. Don't laugh at me Because I'm a fool Amazingly, Norman ended up homeless at the age of just 14. I used to keep here. You used to sleep here? Here. And would there be other people sleeping around you? No, I, no, I didn't see anybody else, no. And why was this a good spot? <laughs> it's, out it's out of the way. It's out of the way. There's nowhere else. Look, you come when you're walking around here with no one to look at, no one to do, nothing to do, nothing to eat, no home. No. Is it at night time, you go? Come on now, ladies and gentlemen, please don't be shy. Would someone give this big issue just one little try? No. <laughs> You've got all the passion, haven't you? Well, yeah. Norman, this is the big issue. Have you heard of this magazine? Oh, the big issue, yeah. Well, are you homeless? Yes. Just been I, seen I, where I, Norman used to actually sleep, just under that statue yeah. over there. And well, you, from, from the age you, of about... You actually slept under that statue, Norman. I did, yes. The amount of times that I've sat there... Oh, yeah. ..and didn't even know that someone as famous as you and a man that I've seen every one of your films I actually slept here. I, I, I had no. I was homeless, starving, and I was there for about eight or nine days, or nights rather. <laughs> and, and it was on that occasion that I used to go over to the office hall attendant, and he said, "Why don't you join the army?" There, there's so many similar things of which we've got in common, Norman. Yeah. Now I've I served 12 years in the army, and yeah. my homelessness didn't actually start until I came out of the army. I came down to London thinking that the streets would be paved with gold. Uh, and they weren't, and ended, ended up sleeping on the streets. The most important thing to me in life has been is that laughter is the medicine of life. Brilliant, it's been lovely to meet you. Good luck That's to you, sir. Smashing. Thank you. Great to meet you. It's Thank you very much, Norman. To meet you, and I wish you good luck. Now, can you believe it? The exclusive interview with Sir Norman Wisdom continues now as he's invited me to visit his elegant home. Now, there's no bell here, so I'm going to knock. Hello again. How are you? Well, what do you want? What do you mean, what I want? Well, you promised that we'd come and film exclusively around your lovely home. You said I could, and you're looking terrific. You've got your suit on. Oh. Very <laughs> dapper indeed. Well, Very you. dapper. Yeah. And you. Yeah? <laughs> what do you mean? Don't, I'm only joking. What do you mean? Look, I'm dressed like a scruff ball because we've been traipsing around the streets of London. Uh, oh, well. well. Let's keep the heat in. Here we go. So we're in. Here we are. It's the beautiful home. This is lovely, Norman. Look. And there's a right? bust of you up there. Look at that. Oh, God, yeah. Now, are we allowed to go through into the beautiful living room? Yeah, I can see yeah, from here. Yeah, go on. Then you go first. I'm allowed to go first. Thank you very much, ladies. First, oh, he just about tripped me up. <laughs> I came over here to the Isle of Man in 1978, did a summer season at the Gaiety Theatre in Douglas. And I'd never been here before and I couldn't believe how beautiful and peaceful and quiet, lovely countryside, everything was gorgeous. So I, d I decided that I would come and live here. And, and I designed and planned this house and had it built. It's an old fashioned style, very cosy, comfortable and a lot of Manx stonework and that sort of thing on it. Can we go and have a look at your piano? You've got a beautiful piano. Oh, He's up, fit as a fiddle. <laughs> With trophies. I'm glad you said that. Uh, trophies and awards and that, yes. That's true. Well, there's a bit of everything. Is it? Mementos from your films <laughs> and fabulous awards. I mean, 
Oh, look, that's a wonderful painting. Tell painting, me about that. That's, that's me at the London Palladium, starring in Aladdin and his lamp. This is a, a great piano. Play? Yes, I can a wee bit. Oh, go on, go on, go on. Oh, no, but I'll be rubbish compared with you. Oh, I play rubbish. And now, should we have a wee... Go on, three, right. four. The four. Days of Wine and Roses. Do you remember that? Well, I will do when you start. <laughs> Norman? Yeah, come in, yes. Oh, there you are. Yeah, there. I knew it was you, yes. <laughs> You're waiting for me in the bedroom. Of course, I'm Look showing you around. What do you think of this place? Oh, it's just, I just love this house. A beautiful house. You have stunning views. Oh, Look at that. And looking at this whole display here, this is yeah. all very theatrical. Oh, thank you very much. Isn't it? It's like you're sitting thank here you. and almost you're looking out onto the audience. Yes, didn't think of that before. Yeah, Hello, everybody. Like Hello. Mr. Grimsdale. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we dance? Let's dance, I'll shall we? Sing in the rain. <laughs> sing in the rain. How glorious feeling. What a laugh it's been today, Sir Norman. And listen, uh, sadly, that is the end of this series of Our House. And oh, we could, no, it? It's the end of the series, but could oh. we have ended the series in the home of a bigger star than you? No. It's a Wouldn't cracking that? way to end the series. Well, you could have found one who's bigger than me. Well, when I said Bigger that, in size, no, but not uh, in taller. I should have not in stature. Yes. So thank you very much indeed for showing <laughs> me around. Been, I've been a lucky little devil, and uh, I am very grateful that you've come here to have a look at my joint. <laughs> my joint. I'm proud of it as well. Well, we've been very lucky to come yeah. and have a look at it today. So thank you very much indeed for that. And for me and Sir Norman, it's now time to bid you a fond farewell. And for me and you, it's good to say ta-ra to you, and you especially. Bye bye for now. See you. Bye bye.